Ruler, tenths and hundredths. There are lots of different ways to divide up your ruler. Machinists and tool makers use many different kinds of rulers. One of the kinds of rulers they use is divided into tenths and into one hundredths. You'll notice on the top there are ten tenths, and in the bottom line there are one hundred hundredths. These lines are spaced very closely together. Machinists and tool makers find a ruler divided in this manner is a little bit easier to use. An inch, again, has one thousand thousandths for each inch. If we look at nine tenths of an inch, we're looking at nine hundred thousand thousandths. We can find that out by dividing ten into nine, which is point nine zero zero, or nine hundred thousandths. If you need eight tenths of an inch, that's eight hundred thousandths. Dividing ten into eight gives you point eight zero zero, or eight hundred thousandths. You can see there's a nice pattern following down here that makes it a little easier for the tool makers and machinists to remember. They can measure things as small as one one hundredth of an inch. One one hundredth of an inch is only ten thousandths of an inch. They get that number by dividing one hundred into one, which gives them point oh one oh, or ten thousandths. Now some rulers are divided into tenths and hundredths. And one of the reasons is, remember the previous lesson that I taught you, the difficulty with the fractional ruler when you get to 1 64th or 5 64ths or 15 64ths, it's hard to remember those numbers because they get so long. And so what they did, they designed rulers that are divided into tenths. So you can see the word tenths over here, so you can just count them. This is 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 5 tenths. That would be a half inch, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, and that would be like two inches. So now this would be 1.400, 1.600. As you can see, it's very convenient to have a ruler divided into tenths. And we also have a ruler that's divided into 1 50th. On the top is 1 tenth equals 100 thousandths, and this ruler notice over here is one fiftieth, and that equals twenty thousandths. So now you can read this ruler. If you'll buy the six over here, each line is twenty thousandths, so it's six, six hundred and twenty, six hundred forty, six hundred sixty, six hundred eighty, seven hundred. So they divided these rulers into one tenth and one fiftieth, or one hundred thousandths between those spaces here or twenty thousandths. So you can see it's very convenient to have a ruler divided into tenths and one fiftieths. So when you're reading a measurement, it's easier to read the ruler. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.